Hey, let's get started with the tutorial. First, let's type out some text. I'll go with zero. Using a line, I'll quickly center the text and scale down the font so it fits better. For this, I'm using the Bebas Noe font. Now, let's duplicate the text. On the first layer, we'll delete the letter O since we won't need it. If anything shifts, no worries, just fix the position. On the second layer, we'll leave only the O. Time to add some color. I'm choosing yellow, but you can use any color you like. Select the O layer and go to Create, Create Shapes from Text. This allows us to fully control the paths of the letter O. Now, let's add an effect and adjust the position to create our first animation. But first, we need to set the anchor point. Right about here is the best spot. Next, go to Position and set a keyframe at the 2 second mark. At frame 12, move the letter so it sits slightly in front of the Z. Now find the path parameter and add keyframes to it. There are two. One controls the center and the other controls the circular shape. At the point where the animation begins, select the O pads and stretch them from the top and bottom so the other letters fit inside. Once the movement ends, the O should return to its natural size. You can simply copy the keyframes and paste them at the stop point. In my case, this animation lasts about 10 frames. Next, we'll create a mask to reveal the text. Draw a shape that matches the O perfectly. Give it any color, for example white. In parent and link, connect this shape to the O layer so it follows its animation. Rename it to Mask. Now drag the pick whip from the zero text to the mask layer to link them together. Move the zero layer to the very top of the timeline. It looks fine so far, but the mask doesn't perfectly match the shape of the O. Go into the mask settings and, under properties, add round corners to smooth the shape. We can also add the drop shadow effect to the zero text for extra depth. If the shadow looks too weak, just increase its strength. And if the mask cuts into the shadow, adjust it slightly. Once the mask is well aligned, the animation starts to look really nice. Finally, let's create a simple scale animation so the O isn't on screen from the very beginning. Set to scale from 0% to 100% to make it appear smoothly. Add some keyframe easing with F9 and check out the result. We can also adjust the keyframes to make the animation look smoother. Finally, change the O color to white. And you've got the final version of the animation. And that's it, a simple animation that makes a big impact. I'd really appreciate the subscription, like and comment. See you next time 